Uh, another important story that I wanted to make sure we cover here is there is a large spill of oil, large oil spill in California, um, running up onto Huntington Beach in Orange County. Let's take a listen to uh, a little bit of what's going on there. All right, we begin with breaking news out of Southern California, where a major oil spill off the coast is being called a potential ecological ecological disaster. The leak is about three miles off the coast of Huntington Beach, and experts estimate as much as 126,000 gallons of post-production crude spilled out, apparently from an offshore oil production site. The impacts to wildlife are already visible. Oil has now started to wash ashore along with dead fish and birds. Total disaster. We still don't know exactly what happened. Um, we've got some photos we can show you, too, of some of the devastation. Let's go ahead and throw those up on the screen so people can see, um, you know, you're talking about massive oil slick. You're talking about this oil goo washing up on the beach. You're talking about birds and fish. Uh, it's it's a terrible situation. And what we're learning this morning, that there are a lot of questions about exactly when and how the government knew about what was going on versus when they actually responded and when they informed, you know, this is a heavily populated area. This is Orange County, California. Right. It's not like we're out in the middle of nowhere. When did they inform residents and when did they actually know? I'm reading now from the LA Times, they have a headline this morning that says, officials knew about the oil off of uh, the Orange County coast Friday, sparking new questions about the response. California federal officials had strong indications of oil on the water off of Huntington Beach coast Friday evening. Records reviewed by the Times show more than 10 hours before the operator of an oil platform reported to authorities. That document raises more questions about how the massive leak was handled in its first hours. Residents have complained about the time it took to alert the public about the scope of the catastrophe and that initial communications by government agencies said the situation was under control and that oil would not reach land. So effectively, residents were smelling the oil. They thought something was going on. And the government, first of all, didn't say anything and then said, oh, don't worry, it's not going to reach the coastline. Well, now we know this is a massive spill, um, extraordinarily significant, huge, huge environmental catastrophe. And it looks like they were incredibly slow to respond to alert people what was going on. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the CEO or the chief executive Amplify, they said that their company did not know about that leak until Saturday and that they were unaware on Friday of reports from Orange County that any of this was happening. But then you go and you look at the US Coast Guard is seeing if the company failed to notice a drop of pressure in the pipeline, which would then result in the response that allowed the oil to flow for hours. And again, every single one of those hours, it's hard to comprehend for people who don't know a lot about oil rigs, oil business and more. Every hour we were talking about like, like potentially millions of gallons of oil. Massive I mean, loads. just like it's it's hard to fathom. And I remember covering, and I grew up in Texas, and I've seen a lot of the offshore stuff. But the BP oil spill, I mean, people were saying, how did this amount of oil escape? It's like, look, it doesn't even take that long for a lot of this to work. Highly pressurized environment, the way the pipeline works, the entire business is kind of made so that you can get as much transported as possible. So when there is a leak, it's a total disaster. So if they had 10 hours in which they were basically ignoring it, that is, I mean, it's hard to fathom. We don't yet know exactly how much oil was there. But like you said, I mean, Right now, we know that the slick is moving. So this is Orange County, California. This is millions of people. Yeah. I've never actually been to Huntington Beach, but I, you know, even I know it's a beach town, you know, all of that. So it could have an impact on local economy. People are looking into what exactly caused this. A lot of the residents are really pissed off because, you know, their home is basically covered in oil. Now the biodiversity, you know, could be impacted. This also, it was remarkable because when you told me, I was like, what oil spill? I didn't even know what you were talking well, about. Well, and that, I think, I was yeah. thinking about that because, I mean, look, I just played part of a CNN report. It's not that it got no coverage, right. but this has definitely not been a it's big not focus national consciousness. of national news. And I sort of think it speaks to how shitty everything is that something as significant as an oil spill, which not that long ago, yeah. I mean, there's a major oil spill that not that long ago would have gotten this significant coverage, cover, people right. on the ground, I mean, segment after segment, and people really concerned about what's going, did you get it under control, and what did officials know, and what, like, I just feel like there's so much significant bad news and catastrophes 
quite a few of them climate related, a lot of them political system related. I mean, there's just so much saturation of the news that people can't even focus on yet another disaster. And then, you know, then you also have the news media would rather cover, you know, January 6th yeah. and what's Trump doing. Marjorie Taylor or, Green. My, oh, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> rather than these sorts of issues too, which this doesn't have a Trump angle. It doesn't have a Biden angle. And they really, they, you know, I don't want to say they struggle to cover because they could cover it if they wanted to, but they just don't think that that's going to be the best thing ultimately for their ratings. So I think that's an important thing to note about the story. The other thing that I saw, and I'm going to pull this up because I made a note of it, from the AP, so the operator of this pipeline has been cited 72 times in the past for different violations, according to the AP. The spill, of course, has already spread roughly six miles by official estimates. It means closed beaches, suspended fishing, in addition to long-term environmental destruction. So apparently the operator of this pipeline is kind of a known Bad or sloppy this happens actor. Every time. It was the same with BP. Yeah. They were cited for all and this so, stuff, subcontractors. But they're yeah. just allowed to continue. Right. I mean, and again, this is look, it's it's two sets of rules. I mean, that's the, the consistent theme here, right? The Fed corruption with this, they can get away with it because they have lots of money. They have lots of, I'm sure they have lots of lobbyists. I'm sure they have lots of influence. And so they can break the rules and be cited for violations time and time and time again. And nothing's really done to change their behavior. There's no real consequences, which are ultimately paid. And then the people that pay the price are, you know, the people who live in this area. And, of course, the, you know, environmental damage, which is going to be years to ultimately recover. It's a disaster. And when you have a known sloppy or bad operator like this, it was ultimately a preventable disaster, not just in those immediate hours when government officials, it looks like, didn't act, but over time— why weren't there consequences? Why wasn't there? Why weren't they either shut down or you know significant changes made to make sure that you're not vulnerable to something like this again? Yeah, and you know I didn't even I was just reading this, which is that they had an air show at the Huntington Beach with 1.5 million people there on Saturday, wow. the day after the speech. Whoa. There were a million five people, Jeez. some of whom were getting into the water. It was an early, blazing hot Saturday. A lot of people were there. People were enjoying themselves. I mean. Look, just because the oil's not there doesn't mean that there isn't, you know, trace byproduct or whatever that could be getting on to people. And this is a real scandal. And, you know, we will continue to cover it. It reminds every one of these times. I remember BP was the same story. There's some subcontractor. Nobody got cited. Everybody knew it was a disaster. Even the guys on the rig knew it was a problem. Then it blew. And then, oh, all of a sudden we just found out about it. Um, the building that we covered the in Miami, I'm forgetting mm -hmm. what it's called. Oh, it's been cited. Everybody knew it was a problem. Right. Oh, now it collapses. Now, oh, okay. Um, wh what else? I, there's so, there are too many things that come to account. It's like these things stack up, then the collapse happens. Everyone says, oh, well, there's no way we could have known. It's like, no, we actually could have known yeah. quite easily. And, you know, the 1.5 million people who are attending this military air show in Huntington Beach, they had no idea. They weren't told. The, pu the, the government made the decision, oh, well, the wind's blowing that way, so we should be okay. We should be good. We yeah. won't say then anything. the wind changed. Let's see how it goes. Shocker. Never does that, right? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.